what's good guys it's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to my channel okay so in today's video I will continue to answer some further questions regarding your start to lock journey so let's jump right into it and also if you have not yet checked out the past two Q&A's that I have done which is all part of this one lock like Q&A that I'm doing because I decided to break it up this time around definitely go ahead and check the cards above as well as in the description bar below so that you can you know catch up with where we started and where we are now so let's get into it okay so the next question on the list is I washed my starter locks three weeks after installation and all my locks unraveled I had to comb my hair out and now it's a fro again what did I do wrong okay <sighs> If you washed your locks, your starter locks, three weeks after installation and everything unraveled, I would assume you started your lock journey with the comb coils. Now, the reason why I'm saying that is because a no comb coils are so much easier to um, go um, get undone. Um, now, if you had started with the comb coils, <clears throat> sorry and your starter locks came undone because you said all of them came undone right and all my locks unraveled that mean that you were um clearly being a bit too rough okay you were being a bit too rough you don't need to be that rough when you're washing your your locks um but i can also understand why you want to be you know you want to get in there you want to give it a good wash um but i have always said this if you started your starter locks with the comb coils um especially in the early stages before it starts to lock i highly recommend using um covering your starter locks with a shower not a shower cap sorry <laughs> with a stocking cap or wig cap um or skull cap however you you know if you, it's a guy you want to call it skull cap it's a girl it's a wig cap or stocking cap whatever it's the same thing different name for different gender <laughs> but anyway you want to keep your hair covered and then you will be able to you know get in there you won't be able to get in there in there but you can still be a little bit more you know apply a little bit more pressure without you know disrupting all of your starter locks now um, if you started with the two strand twist um, then I would assume that you have a looser texture um, curl pattern looser curl pattern sorry um and they all came undone now if that is the case as well you may have been a little bit too rough with your hair um because it still shouldn't come undone um even if you have a um a softer or looser curl pattern um because like I've shared with you guys, when I had my two strand twist in for only one week, right? And I did wash my hair. Yes, some of them did come undone, but not all of them. So if you are doing it with a two strand, if, if your starter locks is with two strand twist and you washed it and all of them came undone, I would assume you have very loose um, textured hair. And if that is the case, I always advise everyone who have left comments regarding you know having a looser curl pattern um i do advise that i think the best um start a lot method or best method to start your lock journey with is the instant locks and i have recently uploaded a video regarding how to install um, instant locks so definitely go ahead and check the cards above or in the description bar below um, to check that video out and you know you can probably start use that method to restart your lock journey all right so i hope that answers the question so only thing i could say you would be doing wrong is being a little bit too rough with your hair okay so moving on to the next question i have is i use water and oil to moisturize my hair is that good now in a previous q a in this round here i did say i wanted to do a video specifically um about um moisturizing locks 
I didn't even realize that this question was in here. I didn't remember that this question was here. Um, but I'm going to still answer this question here um, in this video. Oh, hopefully this would be enough, but if it's not enough, then I'll still probably do that separate video on moisturizing the hair. Now, is that good just water and oil to moisturize your hair now first thing first okay and like i said there is so many okay so many opinions out there but let me say this guys oil is not a moisturizer okay it is not a moisturizer oil it seals the moisture into the um hair strands hold on a minute something got in my eye so as i was saying oil is not a moisturizer it literally just seals moisture into the hair now a lot of people like on many different platforms even on youtube i remember around my birthday me and this um um person who made a comment we were going back and forth for ages and I'm just like listen 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 hey calm down like when I put out certain things I do a lot of research into it. but this is kind of different this was about butters right so as I was saying now um oil is not a moisturizer it literally just seals moisture into the hair now I know there are so many opinions out there regarding how to moisturize locks now I see so many people not only on YouTube, but also on Facebook and on Instagram that talks about, you know, <laughs> water is the ultimate moisturizer. And as much as I understand and I agree to a certain extent, this is what I have to say, right? If water is the ultimate moisturizer and that's all you need to moisturize your hair because i'm telling you i hear people in the lock community say this people in the loose natural community um loose natural hair community say this but trust and believe this is my personal opinion and tell me if i am off but if you were to wet your hair wash your hair go about your day and just leave your hair by the end of the night, your hair is going to be dry. So if water was the ultimate moisturizer, then it will keep you moisturized, just like when you bathe your skin, right? If you do not, what is going on here? If you do not, um, if you do not put some form of oil or butter onto your skin, you are going to get ashy you are going to dry up okay so if water was the ultimate um moisturizer then you wouldn't need anything else right however when you put the oil on there it will yes it will um seal the moisture in but also what i find when it comes to hair is that it can feel quite oily rather than feeling moisturized if you see what i'm saying it would just feel like there's oil on your hair right but say for example now you use a butter right like moisturizing hair butter like my hair butter that i have been using on my locks when i had my locks um because butters have emollients in there so these are softening properties it helps the the skin or the hair to um, become softer right these things will help to keep your hair strands and your skin moisturized for a longer time okay so personally water and oil isn't a moisturizer that is not going to leave your your hair feeling moisturized this is why um you know what did you say is that good this is why a lot of people who say that oh i've moisturized my hair it's like your hair feel kind of funny after or you feel like oh my hair is just oily oil and water is not a moisturizer oil just seals in the water content that seals in some moisture but over time 
it will feel a little bit um, dry. Now I can you know explain a little bit more as it relates to my personal hair experience. Now um, before putting in these um, braids I washed my hair like a week ago right and I put my braids in like a couple days after about four three or four days after and when I tell you when I touched my hair strands my hair felt so moisturized if I can find the clip I will insert it in here to show you what my hair looked like it was really moisturized I didn't need to moisturize again and that's because I have water in my hair I also have oil in my hair and I also have my moisturizing hair butter so in my personal opinion um, I would say you have to use a butter now you don't have to use a lot you do not have to use a lot especially when it comes to locks because you want to just coat just the the outside you don't want to just like put a lot on it you just want to just gently rub you know you put the oils um, the, the moisturizer the moisturizing hair butter in your hand and you want to just gently run it down and that's enough I will go ahead and link another video above as well as in the description bar below to show you how I kept my locks moisturized and you know I never really had much problem with my hair following that so all in all what I want to say is that water is a temporary moisturizer it only keeps the hair strands moisturized for a short period of time but using a butter that will help the um, the hair to feel moisturized for a longer period of time because of the emollient properties which are present in um, hair butters and also guys if you're interested in purchasing your very own hair butter from yours truly then definitely go ahead and visit my website which will be on the screen right here and um, I would love to know how you guys you know find it you know with using it along your hair uh, your lap journey <laughs> Okay, so that was a mouthful for today. I hope you guys found today's video very helpful and if you did then definitely go ahead and thumbs up, drop a comment. But definitely go ahead and leave a comment below and let me know what you guys think about what I have to say regards to in regards to, you know, moisturizing um, the hair or the locks. Like, do you understand where I'm coming from? Am I off or what? Let me know in the comments below because, you know, this definitely helps with, um, you know, you guys educate me too because I don't know it all. But based off just logic, this is just what I'm saying. So I would love to hear what you guys have to say in regards to what I had to say. But anyway, guys, if you found today's video very helpful, then definitely go ahead and thumbs up, drop a comment and subscribe if you are not already subscribed. So until next week, Sunday at 4 p.m., we will be right back here with another video.